I'm working in the Access 2007 New Perspectives textbook. This is the second segment of fixing the report that you see on page AC 378 in your textbook. I want this report to look like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this report and I'm just going to go in here and start. Okay, now I'm going to go into first design view because I want to see what's going on with this report. Okay, I see a crooked line. I see um, controls scattered all over the place. What do we have here? We've got one label and two headings in that one label. That's an interesting one. We have labels overlapping or we have text boxes overlapping down here. Now you don't want text boxes or labels. You just really don't want controls overlapping. When they touch or overlap, you, you lose the use of some of these features. Here we have the horizontal spacing make equal, the horizontal increase horizontal spacing. All of these position, these six positions, um, features when you have controls overlapping those don't work consistently so you don't want controls to overlap so I'm going to start with here is I'm going to I just need to clean this up and I'm going to start by selecting the product ID label the product ID text box the product type product type price price unit and what I'm going to do with these things is I want I want to be able to use layout view to align my columns, resize my columns better because I'm going to do this in oh boy, look at that margin or page width. I'm want to make a lot of these changes in layout view. They're easier to make there. So what I need to do is I need to regroup these controls by putting them back together then I can use the layout um, layout features to um, to resize my uh, my column widths. Now why aren't I grabbing all of these controls? Well because they don't match up just right. I want this group and then I want this group because if I select them all and I'll just go ahead and do that. So if I select all of these and all of these and all of these, it's going to move them around when I go up to tabular. See it took, see these? And it produced these new labels down here and took my controls and moved them over here. So this is not what I want to do. I want to take these and I want to take these. And now I'm going to group those tabular. See what's happened here? It's lined them up. It's made them the same width. It's taken this one and we're going to come back to that label later and fix it, but it's added a label for my unit control over here. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to scroll back over, I'm going to take this group, which will be in here. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. This group and this group. And I'm going to tabular them. And see now they're all the same width. I got lots of space in here. I'm going to come back and work with that later, but now I'm going to take this group and I'm going to put them all together. Okay, so you see I broke it up or I broke it up into steps. I took the matching controls on one side, put them together, the matching controls on the other side, put them together, and the reason I had to do this is because some of these controls are in the header and some are in the detail section. Now before we go on, we're just going to come in here, oops, I didn't mean to do that, and we're going to take this unit text out of here, and you're going to see here that um, unit here is 11, and price here is 10. So I'm going to grab all of those controls and I'm just going to set them to the same, which is 10. So they're all the same. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and save this and we'll take a look at it, see how it's looking. I need to spread this across the page, but that's our next step. So this is the end of the second segment.